Hey everybody, it's Brigham. I'm behind the camera so you can't see me, but uh, I'm gonna let my guest introduce himself to start off with. Uh, I'm Christian, I'm from Sublette, Kansas. So Christian, before we get started, congratulations on being named, uh, the, or I shouldn't say named, elected the uh, Kansas State FFA president, man. That's awesome. Oh, thank you, thank you. Appreciate it. So you bet. So you went on our very first ag tour to Spain through America's team. So let's talk about it. Um, what was your favorite part? Uh, my favorite part was getting to meet uh, all the 24 kids who I'd never met before. It was interesting getting to hit the airport not knowing anybody, but we all became, quickly, we became best friends, and it hit off, we hit it off. And once we got there, it was an experience like no other. Awesome, man. So, you know, you, you did different ag or farming activities. Like, what was your favorite one? And if you have multiple, that's fine. There's, yeah, just, what was your favorite? My favorite one, and I think it's because I've just never experienced anything like this, but it was the tuna farm. Getting to go out on this big boat and seeing how they raise these tuna in these, these pens, basically, out in the middle of the ocean and getting to feed them and also just see just how massive they are. Um, just being a kid from Kansas, I thought your, your tuna is probably a bit this big, and it ended up being much larger than that. Yeah, okay. So, you know, you did the farming activities, the ag education, you know, when you got to go out and see Spain, like, what was your favorite part about, you know, learning the Spanish culture? I would say my favorite part from that is when we were on the bus, we get to see the landscape and see how it's all made up. Uh, I live in the flattest county in Kansas, so uh, seeing hills and uh, also just seeing the vineyards alongside and the olive farms. It was really, it was, an, it was a spectacular view, and then when you got along the ocean, just being able to look out and see for miles, it was, it was something that uh, you really can't put into words. Yeah, okay. So, what about the, the Spanish people, like your tour managers and that kind of stuff? You know, talk to us about those guys. They were amazing. They really made us all feel at home, and we were all able to build a connection with them, whether it was spending time with them at night around the patio, or even if it was during the day on a tour, we were always interacting with them and they always made sure that we were taken care of and it was a good time with them and we got to meet them a little bit more and we still talk to them every once in a while. Cool. So my last question is, what would you say or what advice would you give to another kid that's thinking about traveling overseas with America's team? I would say do it. Uh, getting to go there, you really, it opens your eyes to the possibilities for your future, but also how other people in other countries live and that was probably the coolest experience that I could have said was you don't realize how lucky we have it here in the US and being able to see what agriculture looks like over there and how they live it opens up your eyes to the possibilities not only for you but also for them awesome man well thank you so much thank you